Well, people across the country are taking notice of Liberty softball. Not only do they have a legend in the sport as their head coach and Dot Richardson, but beginning with their home opener tonight against Ryder, the Lady Flames will also have one of the best stadiums in the country. Our Andy Freeman got a tour of the new digs from the head coach herself. Thanks for having me here today. This is an incredible place just being here for a few moments. Now you've played softball at every level from the Sandlot all the way to the international stage in the Olympics. How does this stadium stack up to what you've seen and played on? This stadium, without a doubt, is one of the best in the nation, if not the world, for softball. The one thing I always wanted was it to be very similar to Major League Baseball. And when you look at those facilities, everything is underneath the concrete seating. So everything for the players' locker room and lounge and kitchenette and bathrooms, of course, with showers and vanity areas uh, to, you know, laundry, all of that, the mudroom and the dugout that's all committed to us in Liberty Softball. But no one peg on the wall with a stool for the visitors. Uh, exactly. The, the visitors have a really nice, in fact, their locker room is probably um, right now at the standards of a lot of home uh, locker rooms for the sport of softball. Well, that's incredible. We've talked a little bit now about uh, the stadium, but let's go in and have some fun and talk about the fan experience. Absolutely. All let's right. do it. We definitely kept fans in mind, uh, from the shade that is available to the slope of the seats where you can sit, see over top of anyone who might be seating in front of you. We have a beautiful scoreboard. It has an LED screen as well as the usual digital scorekeeping per inning and everything like that, but it's beautiful. This is incredible. First question I have, I picked up a softball along the way because I wanted to ask you, this is an artificial outfield and it's a synthetic infield. What does that mean to the players in terms of playing the ball? Well, it's definitely different. Uh, when you play on this, the ball is gonna bounce up a little more and it will skip a little. However, the advantages are, uh, one, it's smoother. Uh, two, is you can adjust to the bounces as opposed to you never know when it is the real grass. And physically, it doesn't treat a player differently in terms of uh, how your joints or how your muscles react to it. Not at all. In fact, it is very, it's got some cushion into it. There's really good uh, draining system underneath it. So when it does rain, it's, it's really good out here. And uh, the other thing, the players are enjoying it because they can still wear their metal spikes. That was my one concern. So rain doesn't stop you out here in the outfield. Now let's talk a little bit about the synthetic uh, dirt in the infield. I mean, sliding, dust in the air. I mean, how does it compare to natural dirt? Well, rain does not stop us in the infield as well because it is a polymerized uh, synthetic dirt. So what it does, it repels water. Now you were on the world's longest road schedule to start your season, Dot. You're getting ready to open against Ryder here at home. Uh, but what about the rest of your schedule? Okay, let me tell you, every game is gonna be awesome because this is really an amazing team. Everybody here in Virginia, come on. University of Virginia is gonna be here and Virginia Tech. Come and support all our games, because it's gonna be great. Dot, we're done with the tour part. How about uh, we go in the batting cage and uh, I'll throw a few to you and let's see if you still got that hitting uh, ability. Absolutely. That's yeah. it. All right. 